Happy New Year guys, I hope you all uh, passed New Year's Eve with all your fingers intact. I know I did because I need to be tying a lot more flies for you guys this year and um, I'm really excited for this year. It's kind of a secret but I am planning very big things for you guys to come so uh, if you aren't already subscribing to my channel I suggest you uh, hit that button down there and um, join the community. Today we will be tying this here little multi something pattern. It's uh, been a really giving pattern to me last year. Um, if you guys remember my sea trout fishing for dummies film, where we had uh, pretty good fishing that day actually, me and my brothers. And uh, all the fish I caught that day were caught on this particular little fly. So as usual, let's just jump down to my vice right here and uh, tie it to the fly. Okay, let's do this. Uh, this little fly, as you saw in the picture, has this little um, this little striking point down here. And there is two ways you can make that. One, you can uh, get these colored, colored UV resins from uh, the company called Gulf. They make a fluorescent pink one, which is really great. And uh, you can do it uh, by making a small bump down here with some pink tying thread and then making a small drop on top of that, which is what I will be doing today. So on, the some, on with some fluorescent pink thread here. Just start with the eye. Now this doesn't need to be pretty because it will be covered up. Just need to make a neat little bump down here. Around this. So if you hold your thread straight downwards, it will hang right by the bar. small bump with your tying thread down here. You really need to be careful not to cut your thread on the point of the hook. There we go, get this out of the way. I might even switch the colors of my tying thread, so let's make a small finish up here. Get this thread out of the way. And take some UV resin, put on a small drop back here. You don't need a whole lot just to exaggerate this little bump down here. It really makes a cool looking strike point where the fish can attack. Turn that around a bit and harden it. Mm 
Here we go. Then we need some mini miner for pearl. And of course I need to have some kind of tying thread on here. side of the hook. And then tie it all the way back to the small bump you made there. Up again a bit. Now tie in a piece of ribbon. In this case this is some draft 0.18 millimeters, a really thin monofilament, just to make the fly extra durable. Get that on there as well. Put it back. Now we want to take some sort of bristly feather. I've got a really nice tapered one here. And what you want to do is you want to find the shiny side. Uh, if you look closely on your feathers you will notice that uh, there is a, a not so shiny side and a side that is a lot more shiny. I don't know if it's... If you are, if you, I don't know if you're able to see it here. You want to take the shiny side so it's pointed towards you and then what you want to do is you want to open up the fibers a bit like this and then strip the entire top side top half of this feather you don't have to do this but uh, I think this pattern looks a lot better Lightly dressed. So what you're left with is something that looks just like this. And then you want to tie that in by the tip on the side here. And the reason why I turned that shiny side towards me is that when I turn it in a minute, uh, all the heck of fibers will point the right way. You'll see what I mean. Get some dubbing. This here is the SLF squirrel dub. In a natural grey, I think. Yes, natural grey it says. One of my favorite dubbings. Put that on your thread. <laughs> and you guys know I like to do this kind of reverse. but I do want a good base layer so I have something to brush out afterwards. It's nothing worse than a fly where you can see the tying thread underneath. Especially when it's pink like this. So just take your time with this and uh, 
cover up your tracks. You also want to taper this slightly. Which means that it will be thin down here and thicker towards the hook eye. Taper. That's a word I, I've never heard about until I started fly tying and then suddenly every other word you hear is tapered. You want to taper? <laughs> but it does look good. So if you're just starting out don't be alarmed if you hear tapered all the time. Done here. Now, here you can really see why I love this dubbing so much because it has these small stiffer hairs which really makes it look boggy I suppose. Now take your Mylar tinsel here and then just, I'm just noticing I may have gone with a bit too thick one. out of it. more like it. Let's see if we can get this on now. Stay there. Just like that. Take your haggle here, get on some pliers if you have, and then I like to make a full turn in the back here. Try to get one turn on top of this tinsel right here. <laughs> and then up in front here you can make a few extra turns. To really exaggerate that taper. <laughs> you 
that. That's secured. Take a rip, get it through the jungle here of fibers. Careful that you don't get too many caught. It helps brushing them out a bit along the way. here in the front. Put off the rip. Make a wood finish or two. left now is to give this a good brush And there you have it. So that was it. Uh, a really fast little tie. Killer pattern, I promise that. So now, if you'll uh, excuse me, I have to clean up this uh, mess I just made with this uh, party popper. Whatever happened to these with the, with the thingy? <laughs> you, you ignite with a, with a lighter? I guess I'm getting old. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.